Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So right here, we have the equation x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 3 equals x to the power of 6. And this is actually a really simple exponential equation. So our first step is to get all the x's on one side. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract x to the power of 6 on both sides so that it joins the other x's. So this results in us having x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 6 equals 0. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to factor out x to the power of 3 from this expression. So if we factor out x to the power of 3, we get x to the power of 3 times, well, x to the power of 3 divided by x to the power of 3 is simply 1, plus x to the power of 3 divided by x to the power of 3 again is 1, minus x to the power of 6 divided by x to the power of 3, that's going to be x to the power of 3, because x to the power of 6 divided by x to the power of 3 is x to the power of 6 minus 3. Remember, we're using the quotient rule of division of exponents, and we, we subtract exponents. So now that we have this, we have this equals 0. And this can be simplified into x to the power of 3 times 1 plus 1 is 2 minus x to the power of 3 equals 0. All right, so now we could turn this into two equations. We could turn this into x to the power of 3 equals 0 and 2 minus x to the power of 3 equals 0. All right, so now let's solve our first equation here. We have x to the power of 3 equals 0. Well, what to the power of 3 equals 0? 0. 0 is the only number to the power of 3 that equals 0. So our first solution is x equals 0. 0. All right, so now let's solve this one. Let's add x to the power of 3 on both sides. We're going to add x to the power of 3 on both sides. So we get 2 is equal to x to the power of 3. And now if we take the cube root on both sides, to cancel out this exponent, we get, I'll write this over here, the cube root of 2 is equal to, well, the cube root of x to the power of 3 is simply just x. So this is another solution to this equation. Both of these are solutions to this equation.